Hey guys, I'm Joshua A600, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial video on how to put custom music into Zelda Majora's Mask Randomizer. This process also works for Ocarina of Time Randomizer, but we're going to be specifically focusing on Majora's Mask Randomizer. So as you can see, I have some programs here opened up already. Uh, Sex64, this is the program that's used to actually import the music into the game itself. This is synth font. This is the program where I test the sound font on the midis to get the right instrument assignment. And then this is Sakaiju. This is uh, a MIDI editing software, a free one. Synth font was free too. Um, synth font is also a MIDI editor, but I think Sakaiju is better for editing. Sakaiju is a free MIDI editor where you know I can input the markers for repeat for, for loops. We're not going to be doing that in this example. We're going to be doing a, a really basic example and where I you know take out parts that I don't like and editing the MIDI events to make sure it ends right on the end of the song rather than you know it keeps going and there's empty sounds before a loop. So this is what we're starting with today. Okay so let's start here in Sakaiju. File open let's open up our midi by the way you can get midis from you know many different places but if you want to rip it from an n64 game you can use the n64 midi tool you can download midis off of vgmusic.com video game music or you can just get a midi from you know some random midi, midi website this works for any midi like it can work for songs like real songs too so Let's just open up this MIDI. You can see it says mi2theme.mid. This is the theme to Monkey Island 2. So right now, let's just listen to it. See what we want to get rid of. By the way, I've done this song before. So this I'm just going to be going through the motions, but explaining what I'm doing. But like, you kind of hear like the slow build up. It's not really, it's not really my thing. I don't want to hear this. I just want to go right into the rocking part right here. You see? I want to get into this part. So I want to get rid of this build up. Let's do that, right? Let's just select the bars and cut. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. Because if you noticed, there were... Oh, Control z didn't work. Control z Control z There we go. If you notice, there's like extra stuff here. This actually contains our tempo and time signature MIDI events. We don't want to delete those. Because that, that can really like just mess up everything in the MIDI and how it sounds. So we want to actually open up the piano roll. And select the eraser icon right here. And, you know, just delete these long, these long notes manually so let's do that so let's uh, go back to the track window so to, and to get it starting at the beginning we can just do this then now we dr uh, take it and drag it so we go back to the beginning see how it instantly starts at the rocking part now so this is good so let me explain looping really fast. I'm not going to go too much into it, but you see like this se section one here. This would basically be, okay, if I wanted it to loop starting from this section one, you would just right click, insert marker. You would, th you would have to title it section one. That's what sex 64 looks for with the capital S and the number one. Don't ask me why. That's just what it looks for. But yeah, we're not going to, so we're just, that's all I'm going to say about that. You can find more information in ISHJ's guide on his wiki. Uh, in Majora's Mask Randomizer. So, so this song is good. Now, however, let's go to the ending. Where exactly do I want it to go until and how much I want to hear before it loops back to the beginning? Okay. Three bars is a little... Three bars of drums is a little bit too much for me. Two bars is good. It, like, it's a good thing. Let's just delete this, um, this last bar right here. Okay. Good, right? It's going to loop right at the beginning now. Because we just deleted that, right? Let's see. Nope. It has that empty bar. So how do we fix that? Simple. So you see how this, the last note here is in the end of bar 37? Open up your MIDI events. Scroll all the way down. Take the, the last thing at the that's ended the bar 37. And just replace the times. My phone is making an alarm, which is great. Okay, so you just make sure the the end of track and MIDI events match up right match up at the end of the bar, so it instantly loops. So let's listen to that now. Play. Perfect. So let's let's save it as Monkey Island Theme Two, edited. Okay, so. See you in the next part in synth font. Okay, 
Here we are in SynthFont. Like I said, this is the software I use to assign instruments using a sound font, basically. So let's just open up our MIDI file. And let's navigate to it. So here it is, Monkey Island theme to edit it. So you'll notice, first let's load our sound font. You click the sound font file up here, and then you just navigate to your folder to where your SF2 file is. Perfect. So you'll notice something that this happens a lot when you use a uh, synth font. Things automatically get assigned to Piccolo at first when you when you load a Majora's Mask sound font. That's just how it is, but it doesn't matter because we can instantly change it as we listen to it. So let's just listen to it without assigning in any instruments. It sound it sounds okay, a little bit, right? Let's just wait until we get to the melody, then you'll notice an issue. The melody is there, but then the background is a little bit, it's being overpowered, right? So let's, the, the, the good the good thing about synth font is that you can change things in real time to see how they sound. So for example, if I change this to oboe, I think the oboe is best for melodies, personally. Okay. This piano is a little bit strong, right? How about we change that to like marimba? We can leave the glockenspiel the way it is. Sounds pretty good. However, this this these pizzicato strings are kind of kind of not great, right? Let's change that and let's rewind a little bit so we can hear how it sounds without them. Right? That sounds pretty good. This horn sounds good already, but let's see what happens if we change that to trumpet. I don't. There we go. The trumpet was very low. You couldn't even hear it. Let's change the clarinet and see. It sounds a little bit out of place, right? Let's leave that. Let's leave that as horn. That that harp sounded good. This sounds good as marimba. However, let, let's let's see. Let's try something else. Let's change that to trumpet. I don't really like that. Bassoon. Clarinet. So that's why you can just change things as you want. You can leave these as strings. That's why you can you can leave it as anything you want. So I think this sounds good. This actually is the like the arrangement I already had. So we're just gonna leave it the way it is. So this is good, right? So however, like I said, this is a MIDI editor. We're basically using synth font as reference. Um that you can edit in this. I don't feel the need to. We're just going to be using this as reference. So, now that we have our inst instrument assignment, by the way, you can save the arrangement. You can't do it when you're in the middle of a playback. But you can save the arrangement, so if you close it and reopen up the MIDI, it will automatically keep your instrument assignment. Okay, so that was synth font. Let's head over to sec 60. Okay, so let's recap so far what, what we have done. We've edited our MIDI in Sakaiju, and we figured out our instrument assignment in synth font. So, now here's like the more complicated part, is in actually importing it into the game using Sex64. So we see I have it open here, and I also have SynthFont open still because we're going to need to use it as reference. So the first thing you want to do is load your ROM description file. Here it is, and then updated ROM description. You can find a download link to the, an updated ROM description file using ICHJ's link and his guide. We're also going to need to load our decompressed Majora's Mask ROM to actually put it into the game and test it. So, and then let's import our MIDI. Monkey Island theme 2 edited. So, let's go over to the audio sec tab. Basically, this is where all the magic happens. This sequence is basically, you see how master volume, tempo, that's all that stuff. This section right here of the absolute uh, channel PTR commands, this has to do with looping and that section 1 marker I was talking about. I'm not going to go into that, but that's this is what's related to that. That's all I'm going to say about that. And these channels, you see how like these instrument commands? Let's go back to synth font sorry, for a second. So first let me hide this just for a moment. So you see how these channels are here, 0 through 15. These ma these numbers match 1 to 1 with the channels in sec 64. So that's why we have synth font open because we're going to need to be using it as reference. So you can't see me moving my window around when I do this, but I'm going to be moving my window around. 
or I, so so let's just let's just do a couple of these and then I'll finish and then you know I'll do the rest myself actually. So that's how we're going to be doing this. So channel 0 instrument we see okay channel 0 is supposed to be an oboe. Now, how do we know what value an oboe is? Well, these have already been documented. These values correspond to whichever bank you're going to be using and we assign our bank soon like into the actual game but right now we're, we know we're using bank three because that's the sound font we loaded up oboe in bank three is value one just you have to refer to the documentation channel seven is for example here's marimba we know that that's value f okay channel eight the instrument is a glockenspiel we know glockenspiel is value eight hey that actually got it right sometimes that happens so yeah let me uh, uh, finish assigning these, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I finished the instrument assignments. However, there is one thing uh, to note. Channel 9, if we look at synth font for a second. Hold on, let me close that. We see how channel 9 here is our orchestra kit. That value will always be 7F. That's always the percussion. So instrument, the hex value is always 7F. So, okay. So, in, like, we loaded our ROM, right? Let's just reload it. Deep and Chris from George's Mask ROM. So this is what we do next. So we go to the audio sec index. We're going to be replacing, just for our purposes right now, uh, room number 18, file select. Because we because we, this isn't the randomizer, we don't want to play through the entire first cycle to get to Clock Town, for example. So the easiest way to do it is put it on file select. Sequence basically here, you see the default here is various font, we're sending that to bank 3, main orchestra. And then hit save sequence. It says there's only a certain amount of room available. Okay, so to wait to that happens sometimes because this is a very small you know bank. So this is what we have to do to get rid of that. For example, end credits one destroy pointerize it. Uh, we can do that with um, end credits two as well. Just destroy pointerize. Go back up to room 18. File select. Let's just make room for 2,800 bytes. And success, because 2800 is the largest file size that can be assigned. So, see, now it actually lets us save it. So, after we do that, we assign it. Now, we also have to hit ROM save. So, cool. So, we now we actually put it into our ROM. Now, let's ho head over to the game and see how it sounds. Okay, so here we are Majora's Mask. Let's just go to file select. And then, you hear our song. And then, that's it. That's how you do it. And all their all our instrument assignments are there and everything. Let's see how it loops. There should be two bars of percussion. That's how I made it. And it repeats. Okay. So Let's just leave that running, actually. So, I did that. I did that really quickly. I did not like fine tune everything to make sure you know everything sounds perfect 100%. This was just you know a quick run through of the process, and you can see that it worked. So there we go. Um, I hope this guide was helpful, and I hope um, if you're watching this to put music in, it hope this made it seem less daunting because. Everyone has, you know, their own musical taste with their, you know, their favorite games and whatnot. And everyone should be able to add their music to the game, to the randomizer, if they want to enjoy it even more, to have the music that they like. So, okay. And I'm going to leave it with that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a nice time. I'm Joshua600. I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Thank you. Bye.